Hello. Open the file. Since this RE670 protects a three-winding auto transformer, there are quite a few channels. I only need 330 kV winding channels. Before starting the analysis, I will look at the direction of the current of this winding. Because the main function of the device is differential protection, then on the recorder the current circuits can be oriented for the convenience of its analysis. I know for sure that before the fault the power was directed to the 110 kV network. The vector diagram shows the opposite. Before the fault, the direction is from the object to the 330 kV network. During a short circuit, the direction is to the object. In order to analyze the operation of distance protection, I'll need to reverse direction of the distance protection zones. I will enter the zone settings, the relay has three zones connected to a 330 kV winding current transformer and I'll show a load encroachment. To make it more fun, I'll assign colors for the zones and short circuit impedances. To display zones I need to select a short circuit loop. In this case, the loop is phase to earth. I'll change the impedance grid. The third zone is simply huge. I turn off the vector diagram and turn on the relay protection window. Now I'll link the channels of the Comtrade file and the impedance calculator. Pay attention to one thing. So I need to increase the grid step further. Look at the load angle before the fault, it does not fit within the 30 degrees setting in the device. This often happens in Ukraine now. The load angle is very big and this makes it difficult to set up protection zones. Let's look at the section with a short circuit until the moment of disconnection from the opposite side. 
The short circuit impedance falls into the second and third zones and we should see starts of these zones in digital channels. Yes, here is the start of the second zone and here is the third. Let's see what happens when a short circuit is powered only through a transformer. Here the impedance has already entered the first zone. The first zone time is 600 milliseconds. I also want to say a few words about distance protection from ABB. If you noticed, there is no zero sequence current in the impedance calculator. The fact is that compensation when calculating impedance during a single phase fault is carried out by expanding the zones. The zero sequence compensation coefficient is taking into account only with zone settings calculation. I will now show how this happens by switching a short circuit loop. I select the phase to phase loop and the zones are decreasing. Let's return to the phase to earth loop. Thank you for watching. Peace for everyone.